Okay, this should work. Oh, come on, dude. Alright. Oh, made a mistake. Uh, now I have to redo a bunch of crap because of me setting this up. That's okay, though. Let me fix some stuff. Okay, the live stream's advertised. Segata himself made me do it, so I have to. Oh, I keep missing the wrong button. Well, now that I ha ended up resetting a lot of my progress on this, I am now not going to stop playing this game until I get back to where I was. Thankfully, Jill's game is easier than I remember, so it shouldn't be too hard. And if you're wondering why RE1 is running at a slow speed, I think it's because of the emulator. Tried finding ways to fix it, but I couldn't. The game did run faster on the other Saturn emulator I have, but... I could not get the D-pad working on my Saturn controller, so I said, screw it. Listen, I bought the Saturn controller to use it, so I'm going to use it. Alright, I need to get the microphone closer. Ugh. Mario fan, hello. I am now using... I'm playing on my Saturn emulator using the USB Saturn controller. Released by Retrobit for the Genesis Mini, but I'm using it on my PC now. It has a freakishly long cord. going on? Any clues? No, but something's wrong with this house. Whoa. This hall is dangerous. Maybe it's better to secure our escape route first. There must be a back door somewhere. Let's try to find it first, shall we? Okay. Let's separate again. Just a moment. I found oh, here we go. It's a weapon. It's really powerful, especially against living things. Better My day's good so far. How about you, Barry? I have this. 
you know, I had to go to Best Buy today because I had my mom and dad get me a copy of Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order for Christmas alongside Fire Emblem Three Houses and Luigi's Mansion 3. Fire Emblem and Luigi were in the package okay because I had to open up the packages just to make sure everything was inside because my sister also got me a Genesis Mini. Um, my mom and dad had to get my sister some AirPods. Um, but then I look in the package containing my games instead of Star Wars, because I mean, Luigi and Fire Emblem were in there, but instead of Star Wars, it was some weird freaking Formula One game, freaking, I don't, like, I don't even know what the hell it was, so me and my dad had to go to Bridgeport, uh, uh, I say Bridgeport, no, I didn't go, I had to go to Best Buy. Oh, it's because it was the letter B. Okay. So, I had to go to Best Buy in order to exchange the game to get the right one. Alright, let's not examine the corpse. Let's just get the grenade launcher. Yeah, if we don't examine him, no birds. So anyways... <clears throat> How's Disney Plus? I was watching it before I started this. But... Continuing on... I decided to browse the game section, and I actually found a copy of Hat in Time on Switch. Which I decided to get, only so that I have a physical copy and can bring the game on the go, and maybe support the developers, so that way they can maybe plan the sequel. Cause let's face it, let's face it, these days, you gotta have a sequel. I actually have GoldenEye on N64. It was one of the first N64 games I got. It was the reason why I went out of my way to get one. Funny thing is, I actually don't think the game has held up all that well nowadays. I infinitely prefer Perfect Dark, its spiritual successor, and um, I also prefer the Time Splitters games. Also spiritual successors. Alright, turn around. Yeah, there's some good Looney Tunes games on the PS1. Oh, 
Oops, made a mistake. I need to put some stuff away. Goddamn phone. The damn phone stopped ringing. Can this goddamn phone stop leaving messages and shit? Okay. Alright, yeah, Jill, I know you're impatient. Mario Maker 2 got an update. Huh. Comics are trash nowadays, aren't they? Ironic for me, because... I hate most versions of Walking Dead, but I actually think the comics are good. Too bad the Walking Dead comics are over. So that means now it's forever trash. TV series is all we get now, and it's trash. Utter trash. Like, literally, freaking, I don't like Toy Story 4, but freaking, I'm gonna use Forky's freaking obsession of being trash. Freaking Forky, Forky would love freaking Walking Dead TV series, because it's trash. But the comics is not trash, at least not to me. Firefly? Yeah, I know who Firefly is in the Batman comics, but sadly they don't really use him that much. In like the games and like the other things. You know what? Hang on. Yeah, I think I recall Firefly being in the Batman Arkham games. Like, maybe Arkham Knight. Not sure about the others. I'm thinking Firefly was in at least one animated Batman series. I don't know... I don't know if it was the original animated series. I don't know if it was the Batman. Or... And I don't know if it was Young Justice. I think there was a version of Firefly on Gotham. But I might be wrong about that. Well, I'm pretty certain there was a version of Firefly on Gotham. Did I play Looney Tunes back in action? I had a copy of the game as a kid, and I still do. And I made a Let's Play of it a couple years ago. Alright, so now we can get some herbs. This bitter herb that we he eat. Don't you mean herb? I thought it was herb. Stew, it's not important. Alright, alright. This bitter... You know, a lot of people do say herb. Herb. 
And yes, this is RE1 with a twist. It is the obscure port on the Sega Saturn. Sadly, I have to play this on an emulator because Saturn games are expensive as shit. You'll see me play more Sega Saturn games after this. one. Unfortunately, I don't know much about Pokemon, so you can't really ask me questions about it. Don't really know much about it. Yes, I did, Mario. I sold it. It's gone. It's somebody else's problem now. I freaking sold that game. I have no regrets. If I really want to play it again, I could play it on Redream. But that's not going to happen. Okay, maybe it will happen, but... Freaking, now I don't have to have an actual physical copy. Freaking, slapping its filth on my PS1 games. So sing it along with me. Ding dong, the game is sold. Get out of my house. Get out of my life. Ding dong, the shitty game is sold. Someone else's problem. All right, let's see. Yeah, freaking Jill's taking aim at Walt Disney. Fuck Quest Four can leave my house. Cause I'm going through some games I actually don't really like. Games that I don't really. Yeah, that, yeah, exactly, Sparrow. Now it is someone else's curse. <laughs> what? What? Great, the game crashed. I swear to God, I'm never going to be able to get past that part. You know what? Now... I'm not going to load Resident Evil again, because that was BS. So maybe I'll load something else. What the hell?
You can say we're mainly doing Saturn games, maybe Dreamcast games later. Yeah, Alien Trilogy is actually good. And yes, this game is like a Doom clone. You're gonna get Alien Isolation on Switch. I don't think I will because, well, Alien Isolation is that kind of game where I just feel like I can't play it. Frickin' it's not my kind of horror game. Like, see, my big thing is that when the alien finds you, it's basically an insta-death. Like, the moment it sees you, it's basically an insta-death. I feel like Mr. X and the RE2 remake worked a lot better because even if he saw you, well, number, well, then again, you can't really make a Xenomorph slower because, well, that's not what they are. And even, like, but freaking Mr. X, freaking when he hits you, it takes him a little bit of time. He has to actually combo you to death, whereas the alien catches you once, boom, dead. And granted, that's what a Xenomorph actually does, but to me, that's not. To me, that's not exactly my kind of horror game fun. Okay, let's see. that loud. I can check. I want to plug in... Oh, wait, wait, wait. I want to plug in my headphones just to make sure there, there's no audio echoing. Yeah, I think the audio is okay. I think the only thing I should do is plug in my headphones. Uh, 
and just give me a second. I have to do something real quick. Come the hell on. What did I watch on Disney Plus? Um, basically just the first Treehouse of Horror for Simpsons. By the way, they plastered the famous... Unless the first Treehouse of Horror never had the logo variant to begin with, they plastered the Screaming Gracie Films logo. thing and then I'm done. All right, let's see. And then Sparrow, you're talking about a situation where freaking an actual freaking fascist could, could have became president? Wow. Fine, you get the shotgun. When was this guy trying to run? When Hitler was still alive? After Hitler freaking was destroyed in World War II?
Oh! That was great. The 1936 election. I'd imagine the only reason he lost was because of FDR's popularity, or was... Or did FDR just get lucky? Or better yet, was that FDR's first election? Mm, don't think it was. Also, Sparrow... Here's something... I I heard from somebody that apparently the U.S. cut off Japan's oil supply in 1931, and then they did Pearl Harbor in 1941, but I don't know. I get the feeling they did both the same year, 1941. The hell? That sounds a bit off to you. Yeah, it sounds off to me. I have no idea if this person was just making a mistake. Oh, come on! Yeah, I have no idea why that kind of guy would get pardoned. Oh, by the way, I could also play the shitty Saturn Port of Doom if anyone was curious. I think I'd have to get it first. on the Saturn. Oh, joy. Because the Saturn port of Doom is considered one of the worst ports of Doom. Like, I don't know if it's as bad as the 32X or 3DO versions, but it's pretty up there. And it's sad because it's a direct port of the PS1 version, which is actually one of the best ports of Doom.
Hang on, I want to check something. Oh. Yeah, it should be fine. Doom on 3DO was worse. <laughs> I mean, the Saturn version of Doom was still a tragedy, though. Smoke at my oven. I'm not even using my oven right now. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I heard about Doom 3DO's FMV cutscenes. The Saturn version of Doom was actually meant to be a perfect PC port, and the guy was trying to make it using like the Saturn's hardware. I think it was hardware. But then, the founder of id, John Carmack, made him scrap all his work just because he didn't like the way it was rendered. And thus, the guy was forced to hastily make... Um, a port of the PS1 Doom. I think the Saturn was only able to run, like, software mode, I think. And, yeah, it ran like shit. Yeah, with the 32X version of Doom, if I recall correctly, it was actually the very first port of the game. Because the 32X is a bad system. I will close SSF the proper way. And wait a minute. Okay. Spider-Man does say no to bad words, as a matter of fact. Yeah, it's probably not wise to get, uh... 
All right, so what game can I play now? Oh, wait. I'm going to add some games to... CTR tokens is harder than relics. Try getting the freaking secret character they put in an update. That was almost as bad as the freaking Easter eggs in Shrek. I swear. Alright, where's... Okay... Right back. I'm adding a bunch of stuff. Hmm. Yep, Brandon did try to do that, and you, yeah, he's, Brandon, you succeeded, right? Yes, you did. Wow. The hell game. Uh, okay. Yes, Brandon. What the hell's going on with this damn fucking control? Oh my god, are you kidding me? Uh, hang on, I might have to... Mission Impossible on N64, I have the PS1 version. I think the only thing that makes the PS1 version better is that it has a built-in quick save feature. There's a director's cut of this game, probably of the Genesis version, though, because the freaking Saturn version has faded into freaking obscurity. Like, seriously, freaking every other port of this game is of the Genesis version. 
All right. I, well, Sparrow, I have Mission Impossible on PS1, unless you want me to play the N64 version. Alright. Now here now the funny thing is but the funny thing about this game is is that if you did the funny thing about this game is that if you ever want to buy a real Saturn and a copy of this game this game is actually on the cheaper end of Saturn games like I think it costs maybe 30 bucks perhaps as opposed to like a hundred, like most other Saturn games. All right, let's see. All right, hang on. Good luck getting Saturn Bomberman. <laughs> Get up there. This game reminds you of Kirby's Dream Course. Wow. Elder Scrolls Legends? I don't know what that is. Oh, fuck, 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 don't die. Come on! Uh oh, that's a mine. God damn it. Go show you how little I. Sometimes I'm not experienced with these games. God. Where's the bird? Get the bird. Get the bird. Get the fucking bird. Oh, I just real. Oh, you know what? I'm an idiot. I just realized Jesse was the one that posted about Kirby, not Brandon. I. Right. God damn it. Fuck. 
fuck. I do to the music now? Oh. Yeah, my way. I want to save my state in case there is, this game has no save feature. Mainly I want to play this until I can show what this game's bonus stages look like, because they are different from the Genesis version. Oh, come on. Music stops again. Die. Die. Thank you. Got, there's one more enemy around. Oh, there it is. Fuck. There.
Oh, I just found a jump button that feels more comfortable. Come on. Get over here. Oh, watch it, watch it. Alright, I want to find where the bonus stage is first, if there is a bonus stage. Oh, wow. It, there's an... Ugh. Or wait. Oh, come on! Dick. Die. There. Where'd the other bird go? I've heard of the game, but never actually played it. Yeah. Okay. Wow, I just realized the shield effect can't render. <laughs> Mod. want to show the damn bonus stage. Uh, up, I guess we have the boss stage. Yep, look who it is.
Yay, I did it. Yeah, go ahead, put it in the Discord. Up, oh, I think I may have found a bonus stage. Yo, yo, dude, get over there. Get the fuck over there. Okay. Okay, then. God damn it. This fucking game doesn't want me to get the damn bonus stages. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I might be able. I might be able. I might be able. I might, uh, ah! Come on, the damn thing. Come, come the fuck on! Alright, if I jump, it's over. Great. Wait a minute. Hang on. Oh, fucking course, this damn fucking obstacle. Fucking god damn you! Yeah, dead. Fucking asshole. All I want is the goddamn bonus stage, and the game's refusing that. You know, just because I want to show the bonus stage, I'm going to fucking skip those damn birds and try to get past this fucking obstacle. Yeah, fucking out of the way. It's fucking hard. Fucking God damn you. Fucking God. Hold your fucking up! And fuck off. Alright, wait, wait, wait. You fucking goddamn bitch! Get me the damn bonus level, you dick, 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 d
Dick, 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 dick. Dick, 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 dick. Dick, 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 dick. Dick, 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 Fucking stop inching your way forward. What, you want to die? All right, come on. All right. Dick, 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 dick. Dick, 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 dick. Dick, dick, dick. Fucking. All right, fucker. Fucker. Fucker, 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 fucker. You mother broke out of the wall! Alright. Just the damn bonus level. Alright, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, no, slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Fuck, 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 fuck. Alright, go, 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 go! The damn fucking bee is now in the way. Oh my god. This is AVGN level shit. Oh, finally! What? what? You, need, you seriously need to pay up more rings. You fucking asshole. You seriously have to fucking pay up more fucking rings. Are you fucking out of your mind? Stop at the fucking B! Yeah, not but goddamn bees. All that trouble, and now I can't do the bonus level because fucking f Mario 64 fire. Alright. Alright, here, here, here. 16, right? Is that enough? No? Then fuck you. I can't get hit. I can't get hit. Air. Oh, still not enough for you, huh, dick? Fine. Sixteen thousand sixteen hundred. You mother. Yeah, take your damn birds. Seriously. Let me guess, I can't go back. Yep, can't go back. Alright. Wait. Huh. Oh, look, we're out of the Silent Hill fog. How nice.
There, I have so many goddamn rings, all I have to do is find my way back. This has to be a good amount of rings for the dickwad. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh. Great. Great. I have to make it all the way over here. Spinning. How the fuck am I gonna do that? Slow down. Slow down. Oh. Great. Oh. Only on the Genesis version, though, right? It had to only have been on the Genesis version. See, that's why I kind of wish the Saturn version got a more faithful port, because it has some good music right now. Oh, great. Lost the shield. Let me guess. There's no way back to that last area. Retarded. Fucking... Yeah. Yeah. Fuck you, B. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Where's the fucking elegant spinning machine? Yeah, get over here! Alright, I think I found my way back. Good. Now to get back to the dick wad without losing any of these fucking rings. Give me my damn bonus level. Okay. Yeah! There! There! There's my fucking bonus level. How about that? Save state it. Finally! Finally get to see the Saturn version's bonus level. Get a hundred... Oh, fuck. I actually got a fucking emerald. Wow.
See, this is one of the main things that sets the Saturn version apart from the Genesis version. It has different bonus levels, different music, whatnot. Slightly better looking graphics. Then again, the only reason the Saturn version got made was because the actual game that was supposed to be made for the Saturn got cancelled. Alright, well now I want to save state and switch to another game. Alright, that's enough. Alright, what game shall I do next? Actually, first I'll probably go to the bathroom. Okay. I'm back. Ugh. Great. Okay, let's see. Look at the chat. Grab Saturn controller. And now I have to pick a game. 
Hmm. Let's try Die Hard Arcade. the hell? Yeah, I know. Nice choice. Funny thing, even though this game pretty much has nothing to do with Die Hard other than having a similar character and setting, it was only called Die Hard Arcade here in the US. Bonus points to anybody who knows the actual origins of this game. Yes, yes, that's correct. Basically, this is the Americanized version of a game called Dynamite Decca. They, our character might be called John McClane his version, in this version, but his actual name is Bruno DeLinger. And this game did get a sequel called Dynamite Cop on the Dreamcast, which dropped the Die Hard name and it changed John McClane's name back to Bruno. Funny thing is, Bruno actually appeared in the original Pro Project Cross Zone on 3DS. He basically looks like an older John McClane with hair. I mean, clearly, I think Bruno himself was meant to be tribute to John McClane himself, but... And this game is obviously really hard. With no way to alter the difficulty. Oh. So, I guess I'll play as far as I can before I die. Oh, wait. Oh, nice. Sadly, physical copies of this game are pretty expensive. I remember the time when they weren't, but now they are. That's a freaking rocket launcher? Yeah, even in Dynamite Decca, he looks a Dynamite Decca's cover art, he does look a lot like John McClane. And, like I said, Project Cross Zone, he looks like John McClane. Only Dynamite Cop does he kind of look like somebody else. Though you can still kind of see the resemblance.
I mean, hell, even in game, this is not what John McClane looked like in the movie. Yeah, see, the way I played Dynamite Cop when I was a kid was at an arcade in Orlando, Florida. In fact, when I finally rediscovered what the game was, including its title, and I found out its only home port was on the Dreamcast, that's why I bought a Dreamcast. Dynamite Cop is the reason I have a Dreamcast. Oh, now he looks like John McClane. A little bit better. <laughs> A spray can! The most best weapon ever from NeverEnding Story 2. Oh, wait. Oh, come on. I fail. What the hell? Oh, God. I got a machine gun. Ho, ho, ho. dead. Oh, somebody's taking a piss. That's great. Okay. Hey, at least I let the game... The guy finish his... Uh-oh. Don't let him do it. Don't let him do it! Fucking God. I'm... Oh, 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 oh. Mine. Oh, God, that was violent. Oh, God. Oh, come on. I thought that guy was naked for a second, but no. Alright, one more credit. I'm wondering if there's a way to play with infinite credits. There probably isn't, but... I'm trying to use the damn kaboom stick. There, fucking up in the air. Alright, fucking naked lad can get shot here.
Oh, wait, wait, wait. Alright, I want to stop the game for a second because I just want to be absolutely sure that there's no infinite credits thing. fuck so one of the cheat modes is mentioned as hardcore mode and it mentions enemies are a little harder to defeat and you only have four credits well that's exactly what the fuck i had okay you know i want to enter this cheat and see what it does after Yeah, this is this is great. Fucking we're fighting four legged Rob the Robot spiders. Deep scan? Huh. Yeah, I saw a deep scan on the menu. Let's see. Alright, game ogre, I know, I know. It's like a deep scan for a second. Uh okay. What? Okay. This is fucking a weird way of getting more credits. What? Yeah, fucking you. Yeah, you did sink my battle boat. The hell? Now I at least get why I was freaking dying. I have to dodge those mines. Oh god. Fuck, fuck, fuck! That didn't even touch me! But I got six credits, huh? Oh, oh that's kind of cool. It saves your credits. So I could just stockpile them. You know what? This is kind of clever. Kind of a clever way of getting people more credits.
Wondering how many credits you can get. Definitely I'm going to have to make a save state. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. I sink. Mario, I'm surprised you know a lot about this game. Would you play it before? Warship, oh no. Uh, I want to see how many credits I can get off this thing. Yo, 11 credits! What the fuck, man? Can you just get credits infinitely? Because if that's the case, I'm just gonna stockpile them. And maybe I'll actually try to beat this game today. Uh, oh, you played this on the arcade. Wait, did the arcade version have this deep scan thing too? I mean, I doubt it. The arcade, you had to, you had to put in actual quarters. Alright, I'm fucked. Or not. Ooh. I have fucking 15 credits! Well, yeah, Model 2 emulation is the only way to play the real version of House of the Dead 1. Now, the thing with, see, Die Hard Arcade is decent on Saturn. From what I've heard, from what I've played and seen of the Saturn version of House of the Dead 1, yeah, the arcade version's the way to go. Like, I'm just surprised they didn't just wait, I mean... The Saturn version of House of the Dead 1 came out so late in the Saturn's life, it's like, why didn't they just wait for the Dreamcast? See, Mario, what I want to know is, how'd you know that Deep Scan got me more credits? Did you just look, it up, look up the Saturn version?
Look, I'm going to get as many credits as I can. Yeah, see, I played a lot of House of the Dead 2, 3, and 4. Um, I, I'm i kind of sad I never really got the chance to play an actual home version of House of the Dead 1. I mean, I played the Saturn version briefly, but I feel like I need to play the arcade version, probably. I should consider looking into the Model 2 emulator. Uh, oh, he did a review of the game on Saturn. Well, right now I'm at fucking 21 credits, so here's hoping there's... up. Oh, I'm dead. Or, oh, there I go. I'm going to do deep scan one more time. So you only own three on the original Xbox. I own two on the Dreamcast. Never could beat it. The farthest I got was the final boss. But because I couldn't get infinite credits, I just could not beat it. And then I later got the Wii version of House of the Dead 2 and 3. And I also own 3 and 4 on the PS3. Wait, House of the Dead 1's getting a remake? When? Because I know the latest game they did was... I forget what it was called. House of the Dead something. It was arcade only. It was a sequel to House of the Dead 4. Wait, 1 and 2 are getting remakes from the ground up. Oh, so now they're going to make Goldman from House of the Dead 2 freaking more like his House of the Dead 4 counterpart instead of his silly voice acting. Not sure how they do Dr. Kirian. Because, I mean, if there's any zombie games that can rival how bad the original Resident Evil's voice acting was, it would be House of the Dead 2. Maybe 1. Alright, you know what? Do not continue deep scan. Game Ogre. Hmm. So we need Monkey Ball Banana Blitz to do well in HD so that we can get remakes of Monkey Ball 1 and 2. Wondering why... They should remake Monkey Ball Deluxe since it was both of them combined. Alright, so let's see. I think I should probably save my state.
Monkey Ball 2's party games are good. Huh. Yeah, I think Virtual Cop deserves to get a modernized port as well. Speaking of which, I should... You know, I should try to get freaking... See if Virtual Cop 1 and 2 work on one of the Saturn emulators. If not, just get a model... Is, is Virtual Cop 1 and 2 Model 2 like what um, House of the Dead is? I mean, Sega has some good arcade games. In fact, part of the reason they were able to support the Saturn and Dreamcast so well was because with arcade ports. Too bad we never got a port of House of, the D of Virtual Cop 3. Alright. Alright. I want to consistently save my state. Just so I can get through this. But with freaking 26 credits. That should be a no-brainer. Alright, fucking... Oh, of course. Me and my sister, we just played... We played Mario Party. I never had Monkey Ball as a kid, unfortunately. Alright, now I'm dead. Yeah, bitch! Ha ha ha! I get all the credits. Oh, uh, you know what? I love this game now. Freaking thank you, Deep Scan. Wow, I gotta rock it off. Okay. You know, that's how I played the PS1 port of Time Crisis 1. I used my freaking clicker on my PC to freaking emulate a gun con. Worked pretty well despite some calibration issues. So, yeah, I should consider getting the Model 2 emulator. Fucking God. I lost two credits already. Let me... I want to up the volume a little bit. Because for some reason... Oh, what? Wrong one, wrong one. Make sure that I'm getting the game at a decent volume. God damn it, stop raising Elgato.
Oh, wait. Jump, right? Yeah, I did it. Oh, fucking, I forgot about the... Yeah, that axe is too slow. Oh, that was pathetic. Come on! Alright. I need to go to freaking YouTube. Because I want to make sure the sound's coming in good. Oh, Adam wants to come in. Okay. Let me get Adam in. Hello, eh? Okay. Alright, so what how what are you doing on this fine Friday evening? Uh well uh okay, so last night I had literally three and a half hours of sleep because I couldn't fall asleep and I distracted myself with the phone and uh, I lost track of time. So, three and a half hours of sleep, and then four hours of work later, uh, I come home, wait till my mom leaves, now I'm home alone. I decide, I'm gonna try a lucid dreaming in a nap, so I try it, and I didn't fucking fall asleep the whole time. Hmm. Literally sleep deprived myself like fucking hell. And I didn't fucking fall what asleep. What the hell? Anyway. And I slept between four to nine, which is five hours. Alright, I have to try and up your freaking voice on here because fucking now it's being weird. All right, let say something again. Something again. Freaking! I don't know why the desktop audio is not going any higher than the, than like the low green. Uh, is your uh, thing uh, at uh, max? Uh, what the fuck? Uh, wait. Uh, is your All right, try it again. Again. All right, now it's good. Now it's good. All 
right, let me try it. Now let me see what the game's audio is. Well, then again. Okay, now that I'm actually audible yeah. this time. Uh, basically, had three and a half hours of sleep. Wanted to lucid dream during a nap. So I tried. I couldn't fall asleep for five fucking hours. It was bullshit. Also, uh, I guess my mom made this chicken. And uh, when I fucking went to preheat it, I looked at it and I was like, ew, this looks disgust. And if she had served it fresh and it was actually dinner time, I would have had to have a whole fucking big ass chicken with fucking potato. But this chicken has like bone in it or something. I don't particularly like that. So uh, that and the chicken just kind of gave me a weird feeling. I decided to take about half of it. And my hope was that I would be able to fucking eat this before my dad came home from work. So, and, you know, it seemed like I was actually eating a whole fucking chicken or something. I don't know. Uh, but as I was about to fucking put in the microwave, he literally comes home. Fucking... And now I'm like, God fucking damn it. Yeah, fucking in the nuts, fucking naked lad. How about that? Luckily, he didn't even see the chicken on the plate, so it didn't really matter. Alright, so... Alright, now I'm with the freaking Rob the Robot spiders. That's where I last died. Speaking of spiders, I saw this disgusting photo of a bunch of spiders clumped together. In this one spot, they weren't dead, but they were just all clumped up. And with you, <laughs> what's wrong with these fucking spiders? They freaking fire their freaking late unibeam laser. Yeah, fucking blow up. And hey, <sighs> this isn't Die Hard. There were no robots in Die Hard. How about that? <laughs> How about that? Well. Adam, the backstory of this game is that this is not actually a Die Hard game. It was only given the Die Hard name in the United States, and I think Europe. Are you fucking serious? Yeah, it's actually a game called... A Japanese-developed game called Dynamite Decca. That sounds way better than Die Hard. Well, and the funny thing is... At least for this kind of game... Um... Like, it looks like Dynamite Deco fits better than Die well, Hard. Well, the thing is, the, even though our characters in, th in this version supposedly called John McClane, the main character of the Die Hard movie, his name's actually Bruno. Who, he's, he, he's inspired by John McClane, but he's not John McClane. And, but then this game wow. did get a sequel on the Dreamcast called Dynamite Cop, and by then they had gotten rid of the Die Hard name. They called John, Miss, quote-unquote, John Bruno again. And, funny thing is, Dynamite Cop's the reason why I bought a Dreamcast, because I played it on the arcade as a kid. Wow. I think it copies of it. Oh, I think co the fuck! Oh, what is that? A bug? Why did my fucking chicken crack? Uh, because of the, you crunched a bone. Like Crash Bash. Probably a. I think it was a really weak bone, but fuck. Fucking. That is not something I ever felt from a fucking chicken before. Fucking stop juggling him with a freaking nasty. pistol. Okay. Fucking God. By the way, if you saw the earlier part of this stream, this game has a weird way of giving you extra credits. Before you say it, deep dive. You saw either you... You saw it already? Yeah, I was, like, ghost-watching you. Yeah. A little bit. 
I had to read the chat to get the context of the whole stream. And, like, what was he doing? Yeah, I was playing Son uh, Sonic 3D Blast on Saturn. Main reason I'm playing is because I have a USB controller that's themed after the, Sat the original Saturn controller. It's officially Sega licensed, made by Retrobit, the makers of the Genesis Mini, and it's cool. And it looks like Mario in chat already has his Genesis Mini available to him, and he's playing Castlevania Bloodlines. Me, I have a Genesis Mini too, but sadly, it's a do not open till Christmas scenario. When did the Genesis Mini 2 came out? I'm just kidding. People have been wondering if there'll be a Saturn um, Mini, but the Sega flat out said not for, at least not for another 10 years. And yes, we all remember the part where... Oh, oh! You didn't even get reaction time for that. What the hell? So the Genesis Mini was something that came out recently? It came out in September. Uh, I literally never heard of it before until like... Unlike the fucking... Unlike, the, last unlike the fucking PlayStation Classic, it's actually good. Like the Super Nintendo... If, if what games does it, it have had, on it? Obviously, it has the Sonic games. It has, I think, it has like. Wait, which one? At least the first one, Nate. I don't think it has the complete version of three, but I know it has the first one. I, I mean, Mario and Jack could probably tell you all the ones it has, but I know for a fact it probably has the first one. It also has freaking Castle of Illusion, which is a Disney game. It has Castlevania Bloodlines. I'm pretty sure it also it has Vector Man. I'm pretty sure it also has Streets of Rage. Okay. I couldn't really imagine the Genesis Mini not having at least a Sonic Two as well. I I think it does. The only thing, uh, the only one I kn people were saying complaining about it not having was like the complete Sonic Three. Is this good? Wait, so there is a Sonic 3 part game? Maybe. Wait, wait, wait. What the fuck's wrong with this guy? Kind of weird, considering that uh, there was no form of Sonic 3 being re-released for fucking years. Huh. This fucking sumo idiot. Come on. Die! <sighs> Alright. Right. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Are you fucking kidding me, YouTube? Really? What was wrong with that comment? Everything. Wow, okay. So, apparently, if you spell F-C-K, which technically, in English, is not even a word, you still get fucking held up by YouTube. What the Yeah. F what the f What the f Yeah, there, die! <laughs> well, it, yeah, it doesn't have Sonic 3 by default, but when the hacking community is done, it will. <laughs> Because, yeah, here's the thing with the Genesis Mini. Like, I guess the hacking community is taking their time getting the hack ready because they don't want people to fry their Genesis Minis by accident. Because I guess that's what happened with the PlayStation Classic. And the Genesis Mini's a bit weird. Like, it's kind of like the SNES Classic and NES Classic, but at the same time, the just using the standard hack for them just didn't work like that. Oh my god. I just realized something. The last time Sega released an emulation th thing for Sonic games, they fucked it up. Or at least the last one I remember. Or, you know what, actually, no, let me retract that statement. I think that was just really stupid on my end. I'm sorry, I'm tired. Fucking banish me to hell. Uh, not Shrek hell, please. You can go to Richard. But, um, oh, flamethrower! 
Anyways, okay. What I was going to say was that the PC emulation on Steam, uh, the Sonic games get fucked there because, well, uh, when you complete the level, it makes this fucking horrid sound. And it's just not even correct at all. So, I really hope that Genesis Mini doesn't have that fucking Sonic wrong sound when you get past the pole problem. <clears throat> what the hell is with the Shrek burps today? Uh, I'd call it electric burps because I'm drinking non do voltage. Oh, it's not game fuel? No. Not, I mean... I don't know why Mountain Dew has their own separate branded drink that's called Game Fuel when it was my understanding that we already called Mountain Dew in general Game Fuel, like Gamer Fuel or whatever. Come on. Yeah! What, what kind of dodge was that? Oh my god. Another freaking Rob the Robot spider. Okay. Wow, even arcade game has quick time events. Well, yeah, that's this. Yeah, even the sequel has this gimmick. Oh my god, I still got blow my nose. God damn it. Fucking god! <laughs> also. Uh, 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 oh god. Speaking of Sonic 3 and Knuckles, um, honestly, I like the fucking boss theme of just standalone Sonic 3 way better, and while the theme that's used in the combined Sonic 3 and Knuckles is okay, Die, you fuck! I feel like, at the very least, they could have made it so then, uh... Well, I'm assuming this was still legal, of course, but I'm assuming they could have, like, put the boss theme from Sonic 3 standalone and incorporate that into the Knuckles fight. I thought that would have been really fucking cool. Like, that's that just sounds like a cool idea, but no, they didn't do it. Just play Sonic 1 and 2 on the mobile ports. They're the best there. Yeah, that's true. Uh, and as for Sonic 3, buy the Steam version and download the Sonic 3 Air mod. Way better than base Steam version. Um, IMO, if you want to get a completely legal experience as far as anti-piracy goes then uh i suppose sonic air mod is as close as you're gonna get but personally i think i would probably i mean i have to re-watch sonic air because i've only seen like a review of it once so i have to kind of re-watch it again but what i do know is that it doesn't have nearly as many features as sonic 3 complete so there's that. I would probably get Sonic 3 Complete because of the fact that I could change the music. Um, because I really prefer Sonic 3 standalone music. Like, specifically the boss themes. I prefer them way better than fucking Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Uh, why am I getting this fat guy being Bane? Fucking, that's not... Okay. Oh my god. Though something something funny about Sonic 3 Complete though is that uh, you can actually exploit the game to play Flying Battery Zone twice. <laughs> I think that's funny. Just play the same zones twice in the same game.
You can change the music in Sonic Go. I think I'm just going to watch a review of it right now. I'm playing for 15 minutes, apparently. Yeah, like, yeah, fucking, that's how what I say. Fuck, I blew everybody up. Great. <laughs> the way you freaking dodge roll. All right, fucking your piddly ass pea shooter. Get it out of my face. Fucking stop dodge rolling like a freak. You're a freaking badass. You're not. Fucking get off the floor. <laughs> Caution. Oh, nice. Wait, what? Oh my god, wait, I arrested the guy? What the hell? You can do arresting. Give me the machine gun. Stop rolling on the ground. You're not fucking cool doing that. Fucking, yeah, get up. Get up and face me, you dick. Oh, great. Now we have burly freaking firefighter wannabe. Oh, is that a grenade? Yep. Oh, great. Hey, hey, yeah. I'm the man, I know. Get out of the way. Oh, great. Ten credits. That has to be enough. Oh, great! Oh, I took his helmet off. Look at that. There, fucking dead. Right, now I have to destroy this guy. 
Oh. You like playing golf, huh? Well, here, here. This is what you do with golf clubs in reality. Come on, you don't hit golf balls. Oh, every time I pick it up, you know what? Just punch him. Or hell, go Indiana Jones on his ass. Ah. Four. God damn it. Alright, get up. Ow. Up! Oh, got him. But, if I recall correctly, this is not the end. Okay, so I beat him up, and he still escapes with the daughter, president's daughter. Oh, now he takes his shirt off. If I recall correctly, this is the same guy that would be the final boss of Dynamite Cop. Oh, oh there we go. Mm-mm-mm. Except in that game, he fucking changes his body to destroy you. Yeah, and this is totally what Alan Rickman looked like in the in the movie. All right, get up. Oh, he throws his knives. I like how the knives are still sticking out of him. <clears throat> Alright, come on. Now I have the intended amount of credits that I wouldn't have had without deep scan. Alright, fucking die. Yeah, dead. Fuck you. And the knife disappears from Mr. Bruno's chest. Wow, I actually did it. I just watched a review of Sonic 3 Air, and uh, just based off of that, um, my opinion so far with Sonic 3 Air compared to Sonic 3 Complete is that Sonic 3 Air, um, it has some things that seem interesting see you next like, game uh, oh they <clears throat> knew they fucking knew like uh widescreen 60 fps in special stages and uh apparently a fan made remastered or something like that um 
The remastered thing, I'd like to uh, see. Uh, oh, yeah, also the achievements. I almost forgot. The achievements seem like an interesting feature. Reminds me of an uh, emulator that I got one time that has achievements in NES games that you could unlock. I thought that was really cool. But um, Sonic 3 Air just seems like it's trying to... Uh, like enhance the already experience that they're or wait what the already experience that doesn't make any sense but it's like trying to enhance the experience that's already there but i feel like sonic 3 complete does this way better i mean minus achievements sonic 3 complete does bug fixes up the ass uh actually fucking has like uh how do i explain it's like it i think it said it adds an intro to knuckles for something i don't know how that situation is supposed to work out uh, <coughs> sorry if i'm giving a really crappy explanation i'm still tired um oh yeah also not to mention that uh you can change the layout of the levels to uh, fit the prototype version so then flying battery zone comes after carnival night zone instead of in the second half of the game which sonic 3 air does not do uh oh and not only that but sonic 3 complete also uh, can even change the graphics of flying battery zone to match carnival night's aesthetic so and there's consistency there uh In Sonic 3 Air, there's this mode called Free Roam Mode, which <clears throat> seems to be pretty much useless because uh, you can just fucking choose the levels in the save file when you unlock it, and there's also a time limit in Free Roam anyway, so there's not really any point. And, uh... Honestly, I feel like Sonic 3 Complete is... It just does a lot better of a job than what Sonic Air seems to do. But the only reasons why I would even consider trying out Sonic Air would be because of the achievements, mainly. That is pretty much the only... Well, well, no, that's not true. That's also that remastered thing that I saw. That, I want to hear what that sounded like. But other than those two things, there's no real reason for me to try out Sonic 3 Air, when Sonic 3 Complete does a lot of the same stuff, but a lot better. Like, seriously, Sonic 3 Complete has so many fucking bug fixes that's not even funny. Like, there, you can literally look up a list, and it's like this huge fucking thing I've heard. And also, the 60 FPS feature in the Blue Sphere stages isn't even that great because it slightly messes up the collision detection for the Blue Spheres. So you have to time your jumps differently. And I'm just going to say this right now. I'm not a... Okay. If you're going to affect the FPS of a game, I'll probably like the change if it doesn't affect the gameplay but when it starts affecting the gameplay then that's when i have a problem with it like either it needs to be completely functional or in my opinion just don't even bother because there's no real point <laughs> and also uh the whole widescreen thing isn't really that big of a deal to me Like, widescreen's okay, but it's not really a deal breaker or a maker. Choppiness of blue sphere. Blue sphere isn't choppy. What are you talking about?
I think Blue Spheres as it was is just fine. And like I said, it affects the collision of the Blue Spheres, so... It's just gonna make it slightly harder to play, which I don't like. It's like when Square Enix was trying to make uh, Kingdom Hearts 2 60 FPS, but then they fuck up the game by doing that because uh, FPS just really fucks up games when they're not designed to be a specific FPS. Like, there was this one boss fight later in the game that, <clears throat> like, the way it works is that there's a bar that fills up for the boss, and when that bar fills up, then they get a special attack. And basically, when Square Enix first put Kingdom Hearts 2 on the PS4, when they made it 60 FPS, they completely fucked up that boss and what would happen is the bar would instantaneously fill up and they'd basically be able to get that special attack from the very beginning of the fight. Which is bullshit. And don't even fucking get me started on the final boss of Kingdom Hearts 2. Because that fight was fucking broken. Even in PS3 it was broken. <laughs> I think they fixed it at some point in the PS4 port through a patch. They fixed it eventually, I think, but still. Uh, playing Blue Spheres in Sonic 3 Air is just like playing Blue Spheres in Sonic Mania. I mean, it's like Sonic Media, but slightly worse, but yeah, I guess you could say that. I mean, yeah, don't get me wrong, 60 FPS does look good, but I'd rather have functionality over just how it looks. Like, if it's really, if, if 60 FPS is really gonna affect a game, then I'd rather just keep it at 30. I feel like people just act like 30 FPS is a huge fucking deal. Like, oh, 30 FPS completely sucks. Like, no. <laughs> 30 FPS has its own uses, and in older games, that was the standard back then. For a lot of games, so. There you go. <laughs> you know, that was always something I found fucking hypocrite, hippo fucking critical. A lot of 60 mm -hmm. FPS elitists claimed on game or on game facts, and they claim that anything below 60 is unacceptable, and fucking 30 is like scum of the earth. And yet, a lot of those same people praise Zelda: Ocarina of Time as the best game ever made, no contest. Ocarina of Time is a game that runs at 20 FPS. Unless you count the 3DS version, but... Alright. Oh, on N64 can eat ass. According to Brandon. <laughs> yeah, the N60... Yeah, if you're gonna play Ocarina of Time, play the 3DS version. It's aged a lot better. I 
I think Majora's Mask 3D had a lot of controversial changes that shouldn't have even been changes from the N64. Yeah, I guess you could say that. Then again, Majora's Mask is a game I've barely played. What? Wait, I pick easy mode and this is fucking easy mode? This is your idea of fucking easy? <laughs> this is your idea of fucking easy? Snake, you know how it sounded like through Skype? What? Wait, this is easy CZ mode? It's not easy <laughs> CZ mode. No, it's not. Easy CZ. No, it's not no fucking easy CZ. I'll tell you that much. Fucking Duke. Mr. Nukem, you're gonna save my ass. Yeah. Yeah, this chicken ain't that great. The skin fucking tastes like rubber. Yeah, press start. It yeah, feels like rubber in your mouth. Yeah, give me, yeah, I'll give you press start to die. Uh. I thought Sonic Mania had a PC version since launch. The fuck is that logo? Lobotomy software? <laughs> yeah. Hello? By the way, Shin No, how did you feel about Sonic 3D Blast on Saturn? Um different from the Genesis version a little bit a little bit is a little bit of an understatement yeah I know alright fucking wait you own it on Steam oh shit uh is he talking oh, about the new I one I guess that's Finally, my fucking chance to play it because I never fucking bought the game before. So, shit. Apparently, the last time I played Duke Nukem 3D on Saturn was back in January. What? Um. Okay. I thought that was a sound effect from the game. <laughs> Are you fucking serious? Oh my god. I'm trying to find out what the duck button is. Oh, Banana Blitz HD is on Steam. Or, wait. It's going to be on Steam. Hmm. I wonder what kind of mods Banana Blitz HD is going to have. Apparently there's no way to duck. Oh, that's great. Fucking after this, maybe I could try my Dreamcast emulator. What the hell? Uh, <coughs> what? Uh. This chicken made me gag. It tastes like fucking chemical all of a sudden. What the hell? Yeah, you made me ink. No. Oh. Fuck. No, I'm done eating that. No. It made me fucking gag. Screw oh, that. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't want to. Oh, God. <laughs> I 
Brandon's reaction. Just what the fuck, Adam? <laughs> Why the fuck are you eating Satan's chicken? Has it expired? Did the chicken come out of a dumpster behind the nearest chicken shack or out of a sketchy van? Uh, no. It, it fucking came from the grocery store, I, I'm assuming. And uh, the fucking cooking was done by my mom earlier today. And then it was put in the refrigerator for about five hours. And I microwaved it. So, okay, let, let me just make sure I said every detail. So, it was cooked in the oven, right? It was cooked in the oven. And then it was put in the fridge for about five hours. And then it was nuked in the microwave. And, uh, yeah. Uh. And it fucking made me gag just now. And I'm almost done with it, but no, I'm considering myself done with it now. <sighs> Holy fucking shit, that was nasty. I want to hear myself gag now. Gag like the gag logo. I want to hear how bad my gag was. Was that bad? <laughs> oh my god, the noise I made before the gag! What the hell? <laughs> I made a fucking like cry for help before the gag. Were you gonna die? God, Was this yeah. thing gonna freaking kill you? I honestly thought I was about to puke all over my plate. Puke on your goddamn plate! <laughs> like, that's how bad it is. Shows my goddamn plate. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> I swear to god, <laughs> my mom comes home, she's gonna ask, did you eat the chicken? And I said, I didn't eat all of it. And she asked why. If she fucking asks why, I might end up fucking... Showing her that I got freaking this part. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> this is why. <laughs> this is what I think of your chicken. <laughs> uh, no, but. No, I'll just tell her I gagged her. I'm not going to show her. Aww. But no, I, I fucking swear to God, I genuinely thought I was about to puke. Like, I don't know what happened. It was just eat. Oh, God. Okay, now my body is wanting to gag just by looking at the chicken. <laughs> God damn it. I literally was just eating it. And before that point, it was... Uh edible I suppose and uh, I mean it didn't taste like chemical or anything and I was just eating it and then one of the bites mm, fucking uh. you know how parents will force you to eat the food off your plate like oh you gotta eat all this food on your plate in order to leave the fucking dining room like you know that yes. shit if my fucking parents forced me to eat this, I would actually puke. Like, no joke. I would wow. legit be fucking puking. 
I don't I I don't think I can literally eat any more of this without puking. I'm fucking serious. Like I'm not fucking around. Wow. I'm not I'm not exaggerating. I'm being dead ass serious. If I fucking eat any more of this chicken, I am going to puke because it is fucking puketrid. Puketrid. Uh-huh. Like if fucking chicken made me gag that bad, then <laughs> that's a problem. <laughs> I'm still fucking hearing the gag in my head, and it's fucking hilarious. <laughs> you know, fu- you just gave money to that fucking lady. I gave money to that lady because she looks like Jill, and apparently we're gonna get an RE3 remake. And if I eat any more of the chicken, my ass might be literally dead. Sketchy chicken. Yeah, you get. Um, you'll have constipation was, and everything. Why did, I, why did I floss and talk at the same time? That was just not fun. Uh. Fucking jam the goddamn tooth or the flosser into my gum. Anyways, uh. Not gonna lie, my parents cooking at times can be very sketch. <laughs> like, literally sketch. Particularly when it comes to poultry. Like, it, it's especially so when it's poultry. Like, if they make a hamburger, it's completely fine. There's nothing wrong with it when they make a hamburger or, like, taco meat or whatever. But as soon as they make, like, I don't know, a fucking steak or chicken, that's where things just kind of go downhill for me. Um, <clears throat> sometimes, you know, like, even pizza, my dad fucking made sketchy pizza. Like, uh, years ago, when I was still in Colorado, um, it was, like, New Year's Eve or whatever. And my dad was just making homemade pizza. And, uh, he made the thickest fucking pizza I have ever eaten in my life. Like, I'm not kidding. It was fucking huge. Like, I don't know what he did, but, goddamn, like, uh, the fucking crust, like, the fucking crust was probably, like, at least two inches. That's how thick it was. And the fucking size of this thing was just monstrous. It was, uh, it was not the best quality, but, I mean, if you compare it to stuff that you'd see on, uh, Kitchen Nightmares, it's, uh, my dad's pizza was still better. Like, it didn't taste bad. It was just really fucking hard to eat because of how thick it was. Uh, Sparrow says, I can make good drumsticks. Pizzas have rarely ever turned out good when I try to make them from scratch. I ended up with a mountain range for a crust. <laughs> a mountain range? <laughs> I'm sorry, when you say mountain range, I just think of the high school. Fucking... Actually, I don't even remember if my old high school had pizza there. Or, no. I think they did. But I don't remember what it tastes like. Oh, yeah. And also, the last time I made, my mom made drumsticks. Ugh. Like, ugh. Yeah. Like, okay. <clears throat> so, my mom made... Okay, this is a good example of... When my parents make poultry, things get really sketchy. So, my mom makes fucking drumsticks. And she tries to bread them with shake and bake and puts it in the oven. And, uh, I'm just gonna say, even when it wasn't breaded, it didn't look that good. And when it was breaded, it actually looked even worse. 
<clears throat> believe it or not. So, when it came time to eating the drumstick, what when the I fucking fuck? ate it, is what I thought. Like, I take a bite, and it literally tastes like fucking chemicals. It, right. That's how that's bad it was. No more. Yeah, exactly. No more fucking drumstick. I can't eat this yeah, shit. Yeah, fucking no more. You know what? I'm gonna try redream now. <sighs> so chili spaghetti. Sorry, sa sorry, oh. Saturn controller. I gotta put you away now. Chili spaghetti, bro. That I I think. Spaghetti's supposed to be hot. <laughs> so you're done playing Saturn games? Schneck? What the hell? Get out. Schneck? Hello? Oh, I guess he's just not hearing me right now. Oh, wait a minute. Oh. Hang on. Speaking of spaghetti, I really like angel hair spaghetti. Like, that's the oh, spaghetti I like the me. most. Angel Especially when the sauce is done right. Oh, oh my god. When the sauce is done fucking good and it's angel hair pasta, oh my god. Like, damn, it is good. Oh, no spaghetti. <laughs> I actually tried making spaghetti one time, and it didn't go very well. <laughs> but granted, I don't really know how to cook, so uh, it was kind of just trying. And uh, safe to say, I didn't fucking cook it long enough, that's for sure. Okay, I'm gonna fucking dispose of this chicken. I'll probably just get myself a slice of pizza and just eat that. And just fucking call it good. So I'll be back. And meanwhile, I am going to set up for some bullshit. Ryan Ban, I finally fucking sold my copy of that game. Fucking, I never have to play it again on my PS1. That makes me so fucking happy.
Wow, this game looks like a mess. Okay. Let's start up Redream. Alright, hang on one minute. Huh. Alright. So, which of these games is gonna fall victim to me? Which of these games shall I try? Hmm. Actually, wonder something. So, Adam, which game here should I play? Or wait, wait, wait. All right, or I'm wait, 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 wait. I, I'm not displaying it. I'm not displaying it. Is Schnick back? Nah. No, no. Up oh, here. Schnick fucking all right. Here it is. Security. Here it is. Wait, what? What the hell? He didn't disappear. I know. Shocking. What the hell is this? The angry schnick. Is this the Dreamcast Mini? Um, for now, yes. Uh, let me read the chat real fast. Good thing the Saturn didn't have Walt Disney fuck quest. But the Dreamcast didn't. Feel bad for the Disney fans who had that game. Drop that drumstick into a radiation-proof barrel and bury it. Yeah. Pretty much. Adam, what game should I play? The animal didn't deserve to die for bad chicken. <laughs> I'll just say that much. Adam, what do? Hello? What game looks interesting to you? Adam? Alright, you're, right, you're gonna make me do it. My freaking headphones fell out right when I did that. All right, Adam. Hello. <laughs> yeah, the chicken's vengeful curse is taking its effect on fucking me, so that way Adam feels revenge. All right, I guess Adam just doesn't exist anymore, so fucking, I guess I have to make a choice on the lottery.
You know, now I'm now I'm confused. How is he not? What? What the hell, Schnick? Schnick just messaged me LOA. Can you hear me now? But he's not talking. I am talking! What are you talking about? Oh. Okay, so I'm listening through stream and... Uh, Oh, okay, he just sent me a message saying he is talking, but, uh, Schnick, for some reason, your voice is just not going through Skype. Alright, fine. Did that work? Wow, okay, well, Schnick's voice is still not going through Skype, but when I listened to that through the stream, that fucking scared me. Alright, hey, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> like, that actually fucking scared me. Wait, wait, wait. Muriel, I fixed it. Muriel, I fixed it. Huh, what? Fucking goddamn Hello? fucking place. Yeah, fucking oh. PlayStation 4 fucking fucked me over. How about that? Because <laughs> for some reason, when I connect my PS4 controller, it freaking this the computer decides, oh, it's a microphone and it's headphones. And Skype decided to change that. Fuck. Alright. So I'll say again for the umpteenth time. Is there any games on here that look interesting? To you. Uh. Hmm. Oh god, not another animated racing game. Uh huh. Also, uh, top left says 102 Dalmatians. Wasn't the movie called 101 Dalmatians? That's because this game here is based on a live-action movie called 102 Dalmatians. It, it, it copies the art style of, like, the original 101 Dalmatians, but freaking its main... its characters are based off the live-action movies. Hmm. Um, what's Power Stone 2? Uh, it's a 3D fighting game. We don't get enough of those nowadays. It's always 2D. Now, let me show you. What the hell? We still have Tekken. Wait. What what's going on now? Oh, well, you can't select it. Um, no, I selected it. It's just that the game is not. Let me try game capture. Oh, yeah, maybe game capture will get it. Um, okay. Game capture is getting it, but it's not. Are you kidding me? At this rate, you don't know how I think Schnick is going to react. I think Schnick is going to be like, the hell? I just don't can't capture it. You know what? Look up the gameplay yourself. I'm done. <laughs> no more. <laughs> what the fuck? It's not displaying it.
Do I seriously have to restart OBS? What the fuck is going on here? Alright. Fine, have it your way. Okay, you know what? I'm going to erase game capture then. Bye. Oh, now it shows up. Oh, my God. Fine. There. Now I have to make it full screen. All right. All right, now it looks good. All right, sorry in advance that there's no audio. So this here's what the game looks like. A solid beat yeah, it should be. To a perfect ending. Go for it. Talk. Hey now, watch Adam. Don't fall off, cause it's a long Talk way down from here. I'm about to break this fucking stream! I'M ABOUT TO FUCKING BREAK IT! YES! I am so fucking pissed off! Say something. What the fuck? I just threw my headphones away. They can go fuck themselves. So you can't hear me anymore? Oh, I can hear you. Oh. I, 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 I threw them off. It's fucking chicken curse. Oh, so this is how we're gonna do it. I'm just gonna go through the speaker and your mic, alright? No. No. But if this doesn't work, yes. So tell me, are you really Sagata Sanchiro's slave, or are you a slave to OBS? I'm a slave to the chicken man. <laughs> chicken Man Part 2, the sequel. The Bugwackle. <laughs> Oh, 
All right, how about now? Talk, no, just talk. This thing is so bad. Okay, yeah, that's better. Wait, it's actually there now? You would hear it if you still had your headphones, but you uh, threw them away in the trash. No, I heard that. Uh, no, I hear you now. For some reason, it's still not pick it, it, the PS4 controller. Fuck. You know what? I broke the PS4 controller. Xbox. Xbox. What do you mean Xbox. you broke the PS4 Xbox. controller? Xbox. Xbox. But Sony. Xbox. PlayStation. Oh, hey, hey, I figured it out. Unplugging the PS4 controller made it work. So, Xbox. <laughs> there, two, one broken PS4 controller, one broken... Um, broken... You know, imagine plugging a Yeti mic into your console. No. <laughs> no, just imagine, though. No. Why? Why don't you want to imagine? <laughs> oh my fucking god, you're so pissed. Yeah, their fucking Xbox is not gonna fucking trick my computer into thinking it has headphones. And now let's see if Redream can automatic. Because here's something that's kind of cool about Redream. Well, let me first verify it. Let me first verify it. Huh? Hmm. Yep. Here's the cool thing about Redream, the Dreamcast emulator. Uh, you don't have to set up controllers for input. Literally, you plug in a PS4 or Xbox One controller, it will read all the buttons correctly. Hmm. And it also has a front loader from what I've seen just now. One thing that is a bit stupid about it is that in order to get multiple save states and supposed higher quality graphics, you have to pay five bucks. Wow. Alright, well, I moved the volume aside, so now I can freaking adjust that, however. Alright. Alright, let's turn the... Fucking minigun? So this is what Power Stone looks like. Huh. I don't even know what's going on right now. I freaking lost myself, so to say. <laughs> Yeah, Brandon's right, Chicken Man Part 2. You just saw the- No. Oh. I saw it before, but... Alright, here, now I have the- I have the fucking minigun. No, here's the fun fact. So you saw my Powerpuff Girls review on PS1, right? Um, what? My Powerpuff Girls review. Oh, yeah. Um, this is the game that Powerpuff Girls ripped off. Oh. Oh, no. Except this game's actually good. What the fuck? The stage fell off! What happened? Everything. Why are you falling midair? How are you even fighting? Because that's this game.
Bro, you're literally about to die. I know. There they go. What? Wait, what is this? Oh, God. Yeah, Billy and Mandy did come out and improve from fucking Powerpuff Girls. Punch time explosion. Yeah, that game's better than Powerpuff Girls. Chemical extraction. By the way, I love how the page for Powerpuff Girls on the crappy games wiki uses one of my quotes from the review. Yeah, it is still a ripoff of Smash. I didn't just because I said it was better than Powerpuff Girls. That doesn't mean it's good. Trying again. Bye bye. Exit game. Okay. Brandon, did you snap the headphones accidentally? Hmm.
la 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 la. Adam, are you back? Oh, looks like he's not back. So, people in chat, what comes up next? What game? Okay, let's see. I'm checking some crap. Oh my god. Sometimes I wonder if my freaking schnick rage moments make people concerned for me. Hmm. Ah, yes it is. Oh, you're talking about Lo Looney Tunes Space Race, yeah. Um... You know, I'm assuming Sparrow wants me to try it, so I'll do it. Oh, what do you know? Same logo from Nickelodeon Party Blast. Okay, I'm back. You're back, huh? Alright. Well, I found out what Electric Soldier Porygon's fucking American dub would have looked like. <laughs> We're about to find out if it's like Walt Disney Fuck Quest, don't worry. Hopefully it's not. Version 1 of the PlayStation headphones fucking sucks. I don't know about the other versions, but... Holy hell, they sucked. Like, the big bad suck. With two Cs. I mean, the quality on them wasn't really that great. Like, they were really for voice chatting. That's all the headphones were really good for, just voice chatting. But, like, even the microphone quality wasn't that good. Like, all around, it just kind of sucked. And the thing that I think is stupid is in order to even use fucking headsets on the PlayStation through Bluetooth, you have to have a fucking dongle, which is really retarded because the fucking PS4 already has the ability to take in Bluetooth signals, but no, they force you to use a dongle? Like, fucking, that's stupid. Big Bad Suck sounds like the name of a weird vampire or bad vampire porno. Wow. How about Count Fuckula? Count Fuckula. Yeah, I know this game had a PS2 port, but I keep hearing the Dreamcast version's better. Midly, I thought the PS2 version had better cover art. Okay. What the hell? I guess this is a version of F Zero. Okay.
Actually, this game doesn't seem that bad so far. Surprised. What the hell? What the fuck? What the fuck is going on now? You know, I think taking Daffy was a good personality choice for you. Oh, really? Because oh. you're probably because you're probably gonna get really pissed off, and Daffy can get really pissed off. So, I think it was a good match. Yeah, just like how having freaking Who Framed Roger Rabbit having Daffy and Donald appear on screen together, two f famous rageaholic ducks. What the hell, Brandon? He just Brandon just fucking released remixes of Sonic's 1 through 3 special stages all at once. He Speedway USA, but it's not a shitty game like freaking Fuck Quest. Like it actually feels decent to play. You want to know a racing game that isn't decent to play that's also first party? Uh, what? Mario Kart Wii. Um, just in every single uh, CC is just fucking horrible. I guess I lose. What the f Oh my god. Why are they so- Why are they so close together? Freaking anytime I get past, it's like fucking everybody passes me all together. Yeah! Portable hole, of course. Fucking, it's also a black hole. Yeah, number one is fucker. Wow. Wait, wait, tokens? What do the tokens do? Huh. Wait a minute. Did the game just freeze? Oh wait, it didn't. It didn't. It didn't. Acme events. Uh oh. Okay, you have to use the tokens on these. Are you sure? Sold. So who's it gonna be? Uh, what's up, Doc?
Oh, okay. What? What? Oh, not getting it this time. This game's a very chaotic, but... Too chaotic. Then again, maybe staying on the edge would help. No. What the fuck? How come I keep getting hit? It's a little ridiculous. Get out of the way! supposed to make that jump Damn it! See, sometimes they come right the fuck out of nowhere. I mean, thank God the AI's affected by it too. Couldn't make it that time. Notice if I stay on the edges, it tends to not get me hit.
out of my fucking way. Out of my way. Oh, fuck. Wow. Quit. Yes. I'm not good at fucking making music like the rest of you. I should make music videos. Um, <clears throat> well, specifically with me, the only thing I can really do is mashups. Other than that, uh, and I then, can't really do much of anything. And then you have me where all I can, the best thing I could do is maybe make music videos. Like, seriously, I have had constant thoughts of making a music video that set the Club Doom music from the Doom PS1 port to Pennywise dancing. <sighs> wow. I swear to God. Yeah, at that point, I guess, I, at that point, I guess it would be more of a meme. That's, I mean, it's dead, but, yeah. It is a dead meme, but fucking, I feel like the freaking Club Doom music would go perfect with it. <laughs> Alright, so, I can probably save a state for Looney Tunes, and now I can exit game. Alright, Adam, what's up next? <clears throat> uh, hold on, you haven't gotten to the screen yet. Okay, uh, 102 Dalmatians. Okay, this is actually a game oh, Okay. Of for a second, I thought it said 102 Dalmatians puppers to the rescue. Oh, you're kind of... And Adam, you know something that's a little curious? Huh. The exact same fucking development team as Walt Disney Fuck Quest made this game. Oh, fuck. Except this game's actually decent. <laughs> I know, curious, isn't it? Uh-huh. Like, and you know, this developer here is actually a good developer, so how they made a shitty game like Walt Disney Fuck Quest, I don't know. You know, at one point, I actually tried to Let's Play this game on my PS1 copy. What? At one point, I tried to Let's Play this game on my <clears throat> PS1 copy. Oh, yeah? Yeah, that was back... It was a long time ago. All I remember about the... I think I may still have the videos. All I know is that fucking that it was back when Vandelia was still talking to us and he was in the video and everything. He probably was making KH quote unquote jokes throughout the whole thing. I haven't watched the video in a while though. So yeah. You know what this fucking rolling move reminds me of the of my dog's baby somewhat. So one point when my yeah. sis my sister picked her up, for some reason she kinda curled herself into a ball. The baby did. Huh. You know, I'm not sure if this version looks any better than the PS1 version. Don't think it does. Pfft, 
I like how the thing's like, I'm gone, and I destroy it in 15 <laughs> seconds flat. I already lost in this level. Die. It, it just looks like it was scaled up like an EPSXE. Yeah, because here's the curious thing. A lot of the... The reason why the Dreamcast got a lot more games than it probably would have is because a lot of games it got were ports of PS1 games. And in a lot of cases, they the games would look better on Dreamcast than PS1. Like, we're talking noticeably better. Like, they could be, like, low-scale PS2 games. Like, Spider-Man, Soul Reaver, um, Donald Duck going Quackers. They all looked a lot better on Dreamcast. But then you have games like this and Walt Disney Fuck Quest, where they're about on the same level as the PS1 version. Oh, also Toy Story 2. From what I heard, people don't like the Dreamcast version of Toy Story 2. In fact, I played it. It's control... Like, literally, in that version of the game, Buzz controls like the ogre. He literally slips around like he has butter on his boots. It's not like the PS1 or N64 versions. Wait, wait, what? That fucking robot destroys you by freaking launching toast at you. What? <laughs> I am not making that up. I just killed another one. Uh, um... <laughs> um, oh, apparently... No. Apparently, fucking Chucky became one of the... Freaking Chucky from Rugrats became suddenly one of the 101 Dalmatians for whatever reason. Freaking... Maybe... Maybe this is just a freaking imagination land for the babies right now. But you know what? At least we're not getting Chucky saying... His most famous line. Da! <laughs> I like this. Oh, no. That just sounds wrong. That, and I'm not making that up. That is an actual quote from fucking Rugrats in Paris. On PS1. And no, N64. no, I don't want 101 Rugrats, Sparrow. No. No. And, you know, funny thing is Rugrats in Paris was supposed to get a Dreamcast version, which would have made it the only Nickelodeon game released for the system, but it, the Dreamcast version got cancelled. Hmm. In fact, I was about to say that there were no Nickelodeon games of any kind on any Sega platform, but then I remembered, I think there's like one Ren and Stimpy game on the Genesis. And I think that might actually be it, unless there's another one I'm missing. Maybe Ah Real Monsters got a Genesis port. But I think most Nickelodeon games of, like, the mid-90s were, like, on Super Nintendo. Oh, shit, I just realized. I forgot to message Jesse back. What is he messaging you about? I messaged him earlier today before I did the nap, and uh, he messaged me back a few times, but I forgot to send him replies. Yeah. <clears throat>
my ingenious trap a failure. <laughs> ah. Good. The puppy is trapped anyway. As usual, I am victorious. Now where are you, mon petit chien? Form of hell. Let me out! It is very dark in here. Well, uh oh, the guy's looking at the coffin. Oh, and he's dead. Fucking the barking sound like the firing of a time crisis pistol for some reason. Oh no, my shoes are getting dirty. Yeah, who the fuck cares about your shoes? Fucking, you know, fucking in Lou Pickles' day, he had to walk 15 miles to school in the freaking snow with no shoes. Fifteen thousand dolls. Well, in my day, there were fifteen girls in my family, and they all had to share the same doll. Slept in the same room too. Oh no. You know, Brand Brandon freaking um, had a follow-up comment to that, but let's see if he remembers it. Oh, by the way, Brandon, if you're in chat, did you ever think of a reason why Mickey played freaking Paper Mario for 27 minutes, but then he gave up and sold his cartridge of the game to me? Brandon, I'd like to know if you came up with an explanation. <laughs> Come on, you know Mickey well. Are you fucking kidding me? That this is what I get for not paying attention to the dialogue. Apparently, I have to find fucking museum shit. Brandon, that's the best you can come up with for why freaking Disney's mascot himself wanted to return paper, sell me Paper Mario. You couldn't think of it, and the way, freaking, come on, we know, freaking, we know your dirty Mickey talk. There's gotta be a better explanation for why he sold it to me. <laughs> Here's the scarab, Fluffy. What's next? Most excellent, my friend. The next misplaced artifact. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Burgers fresh yesterday. So, Adam, when's shitty RPG coming? Uh. Good question. I know, <laughs> I know. Curious, isn't it? Um. 
Are you available this weekend? Yes. Uh, all day? Uh, tomorrow all day, except for maybe the one part of the morning or early afternoon. What time would you say? Uh, the absolute early, well, let's see. I'd probably, basically I have to give some books back to school, and I'd only be gone for like a half hour. Oh, okay. So, otherwise I'm good for the rest of the day. Fuck is <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with this game right now? I already know what you should title the damn stream of you finishing the game. It should be called Shitty RPG Ends. <laughs> Because now you're going because you finally have the fucking chance to see the real ending. All right, game, you're starting to piss me off a little bit. Game. 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 Are you fucking kidding me? Is there some kind of puzzle in here? Cause that's what we need, a freaking Tomb Raider freaking style level in a game about freaking dogs. It, 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 that happens to be made by the future Tomb Raider developer. Yeah, that's great. Yo, get up there! What the fuck? Dude. You are fucking with me right now. You don't like fucking with goddamn schnick. Adam, is the fact that I have to leave for like a half hour a detriment to tomorrow? Uh... If I play it while you're gone, it'll probably be a detriment, yeah. But you don't plan to play it that early, do you? How early is it? Um, I was thinking early afternoon, like <laughs> afternoon my time, I don't know. <laughs> Where the fuck? Oh my god. Game, you are pissing me off right now. Alright, fear of the dinosaur exhibit. How about that? Um. Show me. Okay, the... uh. What time is it for you right now? Um, it's 2 15 in the morning. Uh. Uh. Noon? You said earlier just now, right? You said noon? That you're leaving? Um. I, the earliest I could leave is like 10, but I'd probably leave around noon. Uh, uh, I, well, let's see. Uh, honestly, I'd have to message you, but when I leave, it's going to be half hour to 45 minutes at most. Um, If you're leaving at noon, then it would be about 10 for me. So... Not that early. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't... 
Well, good. Freaking, you can, I doubt you were going to be... I, I don't think you'd be up that early. Right? Nice um... I mean, I usually sleep in, and it ends up being past noon because I fucking stay up all night, but... Well, I could get up in the morning. So I'll probably alarm. be done with my thing by the time you get up. So, uh, I guess so. Yeah, fucking die, sir. Fuck but, a lot. I mean, I kind of want to have as much time as possible, you know? Yeah. Like, I want to try and get it done as much as possible in one day. I mean, well, let's see. I did, but I did, and yeah, freaking, I can buff and do whatever you need to do to get past that. Because I have no idea why Drunk Obi Wan was insta killing you. He never did it to me. He never did it to Brandon. See, that's the fucking thing. Like, I was so pissed off. Like, it genuinely felt like it was original shitty RPG levels of bad, except fucking. Ten times worse than that because at least with the original shitty RPG, apart from game breaking bugs, for the most part, you could genuinely beat the original. But the problem, I mean, you still have to fucking figure out where to go. But other than uh, that, yeah, you could technically Adam, beat it genuinely. Adam, 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 in the original shitty RPG, I had to take out that gauntlet event entirely. For you. In the original? In the original. Like, entirely. And I don't know why he gave you so much trouble. Wait, Brandon, you did? Yeah, I did. What was wrong with it? Um... It, it was taking way too long to complete, and you were worried about dying. You're... Wait, I just wanted to make sure. We're talking about the original playthrough. Yes, yes. It is... Um... Yeah, like, I just... Like, Brandon thought it was because you were under-leveled, and that... And, and But then again, it felt like fate just wanted you to freaking not win the game. Because, funny thing is... Not only did me and Brandon survive Drunk Obi-Wan without any problems whatsoever, we... I don't even think I ever saw him use Force Lightning. And wow. when he did, And when he did rarely use it, like, it wouldn't do that much. Yeah, but for me, it was like... Like, everything went wrong. Like, I don't know. Which is kind of funny, because it's like... It's like... <laughs> okay, for the most part in the fight, you know, he seemed pretty strong, but, like... He literally one-hit KOs you, and I didn't expect that. And I'm like, fucking hell, he's a strong, drunken bastard. And the thing oh is, he was God. meant to be a joke boss, because, I mean, I make him puke on himself, and he does a little damage to himself. Wow. All I'm gonna say is that freaking you need to see the other bosses that come after him. I can't say who they are for obvious reasons. Fact. Who's to say that? I mean, to be fair though, the whole mean being completely unable to beat Drunk Obi-Wan. That's just... I feel like that's just the nature of shitty RPG. I, I mean... Hindsight... I feel like... That the event should have just happened regardless. Like... It should have just been fucking... Extremely hard. And then I'd have to beg you to fucking fix the fight for me. You were like, can you please throw me a bone? Can you throw me a bone, please? I want to. Why did you? Game. Why did you quote that while playing the game you're playing? Yeah, fucking yeah. Well, now that I'm not playing the game anymore, how about that? All right. So, what game's yeah. next? What game's next? 
shittier pe- uh, no, Okay, not, we not got fucking- uh, What does that say? Fucking- This is the bottom of What's your- What's Project Justice? Uh, Project Justice, it's, um, another Capcom fighting game. So you have two fighting games on there? Yeah, there, there have to be some of the rarest Dreamcast games. I'm so gassy. Because you are the ogre in secret. Okay, no, don't fucking cross that line. <laughs> Come on, you danced like the ogre. I was mocking him. Oh, uh, okay. That doesn't mean I'm actually... That's like saying, oh, you, you were Shrek in the live-action Shrek? Well, I guess you're an ogre. <laughs> Wait, did that say anal round? Oh, uh, we'll find what out. What do you mean we'll find out? No, Schnick, we just saw it, didn't we not? Also, I'm really confused. I thought this would have been a 2D sprite art game, but then they fucking be like, well, no, here's some actual 3D model. With t on a 2D plane, basically. <laughs> Is this like Tekken? Um, it's more so like Street Fighter because it's a Capcom game. Oh, okay. What the hell is that? Is what? The move I just saw. And there, oh, there we go again. Now it's my turn. Wow. What the fuck? Adam, you did not see that move. I saw it. You have no words for it, huh? Looks like she was getting a back massage. I thought it was something much worse.
Yeah, I'm gonna lose. There I go, I lose. I'll try again one more time. Get my baby, my baby, my baby. Are you kidding me? Wait, I actually have to control that? Wow. game now. Oh, I want to try Gauntlet. to build a character. This is not how I imagined this game would look, actually.
Huh. Hmm. Uh, Sparrow, this game is called Gauntlet Legends. It's part of the Gauntlet series. It's on PS1, N64, and Dreamcast, and obviously this is the Dreamcast version. What's with the eating sound effects? I'm gonna end it here just because I'm a little bit exhausted now so I'll see everybody later